What is going on guys, Biznix here. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get the new Medved Saggy Shotgun 12 or whatever. It, that doesn't, The name doesn't matter. It's the full auto shotgun that everyone wants and all of the Lone Star players want too. Um, so we're going to look at that and we're also going to talk about some strategies for the challenge mode incursion because uh, plot twist, that's the only way you can get this weapon right now. As far as I know, you can only get this weapon in the challenge mode incursion, clear sky. You may It may drop in the dark zone now, but obviously nobody has found it yet, and the incursion challenge mode's only been out for, I don't know, like 10 hours or something like that. I don't even know how long it's been out, but it hasn't been out very long. So that's what you're going to do. Now, if that's all you wanted, then you guys can leave. But if you're going to stick around, you're going to get some strategies on the challenge mode incursion. So, um, before I go any further, for those of you sticking around, remember to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting a lot of Division, and I play a lot of Stars Battlefront and Doom as well. Also, if you ever want me to do something in particular, let me know in a comment, and if you ever want to play with me, let me know, and I'll be able to give my appropriate information to you. Without further ado, let's look at the abilities and talents and all that fun stuff that you're really going to need for the challenge mode. Alright guys, before we go into the challenge mode, um, I'm not going to be playing it, I don't have gameplay of it, I just want to tell you guys some of the mods or abilities that you're going to need on your mods before you go in. So obviously somebody needs to be pulsing, at least one or two people should be doing this pulsing, um, only because you, that's a great way to get a lot more damage off. Second, I think some, at least one person should be running this flashbang, the bomb explodes, explodes with non-lethal effect that blinds and disrupts all targets in range. Um, this is definitely something awesome to have when the shotgunners start rushing you and people like me aren't using shotguns um, but it, I really don't have a problem with shotguns but I find that a lot of people that are playing this are having a lot of trouble with it so this might be something you need uh, another thing at least one person should be running is smart cover now this is sort of I don't want to say broken it's just like really really good and not a lot of people use it there are people that do use it but not a lot do and I would say using either the trapper or the recharger would definitely be best to use. All you do is shoot this onto like a piece of anything like on the, on the wall and it will encompass the entire area and people will have damage, uh, damage increase and then they'll take less damage when you shoot this. It's really really good. It's like 30% or something like that. Damage buff right here. Damage buff you do 35% more and then damage resistance you have 43.6%. This is really good and if I don't know if it stacks, but if you had two people that stacked it, you, you'd be really, really good. I don't think it stacks, though. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something your team needs to be using. Another thing that one person, not no more than one person needs to be using this, is Support Station. And it's called uh, the Mod Ammo Cache, only because if somebody's shooting and they're within the range of the Support Station, and then they reload, they're not going to lose any ammo, which is really, really good. And your skills come back faster, and it heals you. It's the best one to use and you really need it for challenge mode. Other than like the ones I just showed you, uh, the, uh, every, the one thing that everyone needs to be using is overdose first aid. Um, this is definitely a must and you guys, uh, because of everyone's going to be using this, I believe everyone should be also using triage only because it's really good. Heal an ally with a skill to reduce skill cooldowns. So those are all of the abilities. That you need. I'm gonna show you real quickly what my stats are. That way, whenever you go into challenge mode, you're gonna get an idea of what you need and what you don't need. So you definitely need decent firearms, and you definitely need over 300k toughness. Um, the higher, the better. But I traded a good um, 60,000 toughness for some of this skill power. I don't wanna say 60,000. Maybe about 50,000 toughness for this high skill power. This high skill power is gonna allow me. To get my skills back faster and they do more uh, to help me so it's definitely worth having so that's what I'm trying to say um, also let's just go into kind of classes that you're gonna need somebody needs to be tanky so that they can go get those um, those boxes to put into the generators or whatever they're called somebody definitely needs to be tanky and in fact whenever you do that which I'm gonna show you in a hard mode scenario what you would need to do but whenever you do that, the entire team moves to move up with him and get it and come back. 
It's something I will show you, but it's definitely important. Another class that you need to be using is Sentry's Call. It's going to help you beat this a lot faster because um, you're going to be getting those marks and your team's going to be doing more damage. So somebody definitely needs to be a designated four-piece Sentry's Call. And then like I said, um, other than having a Sentry's Call and Tactician's Tank build, the other two either need to be uh, like balanced, like really balanced players, or also very tanky. Those are the only ways you're really going to beat this. And yeah guys, so th now I'm going to show you some gameplay. Hopefully you understand kind of what I'm trying to talk to you about whenever it's playing. Alright guys, so once you start the incursion, it's really no different than the uh, hard mode, which I'm only playing on hard mode so I can show you guys kind of what to do. Obviously, if you're playing on challenge mode, you're going to be back by these cars. But when you're playing on challenge mode, like I'm saying, instead of moving up and rushing the enemy, like a lot of the players on my screen right now are doing, you actually have to you have to stay back by these cars, drop your smart cover, drop your sports station, and camp here, kill people, uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, just use all your abilities to your advantage. Your sentry uh, build person should be marking people, and your tank tactician build guy should be definitely either pulsing or just dropping the smart covers, all that. Um, so that needs to happen. Now, the most important player in this entire mission is your tank tactician build person, only because they're the ones that are going to be doing the objectives. What you need to do if you're not playing as them is when the bomb carrier spawns the, bomb, the person that is carrying the bomb, let them run up a decent a bit so that whenever they get up there, uh, or whenever they die and they drop the bomb, at least it's not in the middle of the map and your tank tactician has to pick it up. Instead, uh, let the bomb carrier die closer to where you guys are at, and then your tank tactician guy can pick up the bomb and then plant it. That's simply all you gotta do at this point. And this, honestly, this is the easiest part of the mission. It's gonna get a lot harder right after this, so um, we're just gonna uh, skip this next part and we're gonna go right there right now. Alright, so at the next part, you want to go on the left of that bus and you want to stay in this general area. You want to shoot your smart cover down and throw your support station up on top of this roof. And your team is going to stay here the entire time waiting for an opportunity to pick up the generator piece that you're going to put in the generator, basically. Now, obviously your tank tactician is designated to pick up the box and obviously they're the ones that are going to be tanking the damage to get it to the generator, which is definitely the hardest part of this. Well, like I said, you need to stay back in that general area because if you're staying back there, you're going to be able to funnel the enemies towards you guys and you're going to definitely kill them all, basically. Unless they rush you, you need to be very careful and remember to just keep dropping the smart covers and the support stations. Um, but when there's an opening, your tank tactician needs to run up and get the box. Now, if the tank tactician has maybe 400k toughness, they might need help, so at least bring one or two people with him in case he goes down or revives him, or at least uh, can pop uh, a super or something like that. Because without the super or without the heals, they're going to die because these level 34s definitely do a lot of damage. Now, once you're able to get both boxes in, uh, the boss is going to come out, and we're just going to speed up to that point right now in the hard mode, of course. Alright, so at this point, um, your team should be back by that building where you're shooting the smart covers and the support stations at. You should not be rushing up like this and you shouldn't be popping all supers to go kill the boss because it's simply not going to work. You need to wait for the boss to come back there with you and you need to kill the enemies that are uh, definitely spawning. Now there is a lot of enemies that are going to spawn. You need to kill them and whenever there's an opportunity, um, Whenever most of the enemies are dead, that's when you start shooting the boss. Now this is going to take probably a decent 10 to 15 minutes to do, uh, especially if your team's not really coordinated. If they're really coordinated, you might be able to do it quickly, but right now, you simply need to stay back there and kill the enemies that are spawning, because they're not going to spawn behind you or on the side, they're only going to spawn in front of you, there's just a lot of them. You need to kill them all, and then you need to start targeting the boss, that's the only way you're going to win. But guys, that's really about it, that's how you're going to beat the challenge mode, and that's how you're going to get the Medved Segi 12 shotgun. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and remember to subscribe, because I'll be making more videos like these, especially when I get the new shotgun, I will be making a video on it. But without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.